Thank you very much, Kurt. Thank you, Natalie. And welcome back in, everybody, to our uh, Center for Sports Medicine and Orthopedics Game of the Week. Uh, East Hamilton with a 24-6 to victory over Lenore City. This is Coca-Cola Red Zone Overtime, powered by 12-point logistics right here on the Talk Monster 102.3. Uh, Justin Sims joins me back here at East Hamilton High School, Hurricane Hill. And we're going to get these guys in there so we can let them get out and go celebrate this win. That is uh, Jaden Haywood and C.J. Drake. And, uh, guys, thanks for coming out here to, uh, you know, come talk with us a little bit. Uh, just give us your overall thoughts on the game. Game, what what you guys uh, had to do to get the victory and obviously getting the job done, uh, getting the big 24 to 6 victory? So, coming in through the, through the start of the game, we knew that it was going to be a dog fight no matter what because nobody gets to the second round easily and it's always going to be a dog fight. But we knew what we had to do to execute, we knew what the pressure was going to be, we knew what we had to get, do, get, get to do to get done with everything we needed to do. And I mean, I'm just glad we were able to do what we were able to do. I mean, you guys were down 6-3 to three at the half. Jaden, you had two big touchdowns in the third quarter. Kind of talk about just that third quarter and kind of what you guys were telling each other in the sidelines, getting back in that game. What else uh, was the signing factor of getting the win or not? Well, we knew several times. We've been down before coming out of the half, and we knew how that feeling was, and we knew what we always have to do. Um, I'm just glad that my team was able to hold in and stay focused no matter what the score was on the scoreboard going into the half or coming out of the half. But knowing knowing what I had to do, I knew that I had to turn my switch on and get it going. Well, let's go ahead and bring C.J. in here as well. C.J. Drake uh, definitely was uh, involved in this game as well. and It was a physical football game. Kind of give us your, your perspective and, and just the battle up front you were going up against uh, Lenore City. Um, I feel like I was facing against a great old line, you know, pretty good, pretty, pretty big-sized dudes. Um, I feel like, well, the whole week, Coach has been talking about Coach Nancy, Coach Barger, Coach Jones. The the game will be won in the trenches. So how to keep up with their fast pace, long, not fast pace, but long drives. Um, they just said the game will be won in the trenches. I feel like that was done today. That's why we won the game today. Yeah, CJ, you talked about practice this week. Now, uh, we heard you maybe got to line up against a special quarterback in practice to learn this uh, this offense. Coach Nance lined up a quarterback. Did you maybe take a chance to get a shot at coach in practice this week, <laughs> or was that a little fun to see him running some snaps back there? Yeah, it was pretty cool, pretty fun watching him do that. But I actually didn't take a shot at him. Uh, my friend LJ, okay. he actually got him one good time on accident, but it was all fun and, fun and jokes and stuff. Didn't seem to ha- hamper coach tonight as he was coaching his tail off there uh, just a big win overall. And, and Jaden, uh, did you did you want to have the chance to go run a forty against your coach when he was lining up on, on the special or yeah. on the uh, scout yes. team at quarterback? I did. How, how bad do you think you'd beat him by? You know we, what I would do though, I would let him win so he <laughs> can feel good about himself. And then if he really wanted to take it to the next level, i put my track shoes and i just dust them. There you, okay, there you go. I love it right there. So, uh, obviously, you guys are going to be uh, – you keep your season alive. You're back here next week against Oak Ridge. They held off at Men County. This is a team that we were talking about before we came on, a team you saw last year in the playoffs. Kind of talk about what you guys have to do. And uh, it's, it's kind of – it's a good thing you guys kind of have some from it, you know, uh, you know, you've seen them before. So, that's definitely a good thing for you guys. Yeah, so – Knowing that we've seen this team now, it's vice versa. They're coming, they're coming to us, and we're not coming to them. Um, two total different new teams. They're a different team, and we're a different team. And knowing what we got to do to beat this team, we're coming, and we gonna come out strong to fight. I love it. And CJ, just talk about that as well. Are, are you expecting the same kind of physical attack that you saw here tonight? Because both those teams are in the same region, a lot of physical football there too. Yes, I'm expecting the same type of game. You know, coach. Barger and Coach Nets, again, they said any game from this point forward is going to be a dogfight. So you're gonna, we're going to have to bow, bow our necks in the trenches. We're going to have to lock, lock in, settle down. Us, D-line linebackers, we're going to – I feel like we, if we do our job, I feel like we should – Come on with a dub. Okay, before we let you guys go, just kind of a personal question. You know, obviously, you know, when, when you guys get done playing, w- w- what's the what's the post game kind of traditions or atmosphere that you guys get involved in? Is it you just hanging out with friends, going to like the Waffle House or something, or playing like you know college football twenty five? What is it? What we got? We was actually finna get ready to go to Waffle House, um, but usually after we get done having fun and all that, we got we focus our mindsets back <laughs> on football, go through watch film. Uh, watch what the other team is doing, and then Sunday we'll come in, we'll watch film with the coaches, and they'll tell us what the other team is going to be running. And our scout, our scout team, which does a beautiful job at it, goes through the motion of the other team's offense and defense, and we're able to execute. I love it. Well, guys, uh, Jaden Haywood, C.J. Drake, East Hamilton Hurricanes, thank you guys so much for coming up here. Go enjoy the win, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. All right, thanks, thanks guys. Appreciate guys. it.
And uh, Justin Sims, uh, just another great performance tonight, and it's good to see you know this team uh, you know finally reaping the rewards of just playing re- great physical football and uh, definitely getting the job done for sure. Yeah, big win. Anytime you line up against Lenore City, it's a it's a big it. tough Appreciate win. And uh, I really I, we missed the question. I was wanting to know what the order was there at the Waffle House. Is it the All Star? Uh, you know, who knows? I like an omelet myself. What is, it's, it's all-star. All-star. There you go. Uh, Jay Hay would say the all-star. A hash brown's extra crispy on the side, right? <laughs> there you go. But 